cut out the opening in this piece, it's easiest to use a mortiser. If you don't have a mortiser, you could always use a scroll saw and take out the blade and feed it through one of these holes. You could also do the same with a coping saw and cut it out by hand. I happen to have a drill press that has been outfitted with a mortiser. I also in the shop have a dedicated mortiser, so either one are fine to use. What I've done is I've set the back side of this uh, mortising bit a six, 7 sixteenths of an inch away from the fence. That way when the piece is pushed firmly against the fence, it will leave a 7 sixteenths inch space from this edge to the opening. I'm going to align this edge with this line, like so, and bring the bit down and line it up. I'm going to push this through there. The first cut's going to be relatively hard. After that, it gets a little bit easier. So all you have to do is make sure your safety glasses are on. Hold this piece firmly back to the fence. Turn, turn this on. Bring this down. Line up that bit. And force this through. Let it come back up. Slide over. Go back down. And I'm going to keep on going through until... I get to my other line, line that up carefully, push through. What you will find is a mortise like this. Now, it doesn't cover the whole thing, as the only biggest bit that I have isn't three quarters of an inch, which is the size of the opening. So I'm gonna have to take and spin this around the other way. Notice I haven't gone through the bottom. I'll go over that in a minute. Repeat the same procedures as before. Now the reason I didn't go all the way through this piece is because if I did, there'd be an awful lot of tear out on the back side, and that's not going to look nice. But that's why we drilled these holes. If you look, the holes are right in the corners of my opening. All I have to do is flip the piece over and line up this edge again with this edge where my fingernail is of this hole. Bring this over, line it up, hold it firmly, turn it on. A lot of times what will happen is when you're doing this backside, the inside piece will break out, as this one did here. And sometimes that will get caught on the hole that's left on the other side. So just be careful of that. You might need to take and tear that out and then just put it back in and continue. And there you go, you have your opening, and then we're going to head over to the file so we can clean this up a little bit.